Hey, y'all. How y'all doing on this Sunday? Well, I just wrapped up all my content for the day. And I decided to make this the last of it. I'm going to go and let you guys hear some things. Some of Peach McIntyre's latest videos. I'm going to let you listen to them. And let's analyze them together. Because there's a method to this madness. We're watching the shit show. And it's very sad. Hold on. That's probably my food. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's listen to this latest video together, okay? And then we'll, we'll analyze this. Let me make sure my sound is turned up. So I want y'all to hear it all. Here we go. My mother was a real whore and a junkie. And she traded me for $10 and a fix. My mother was a... Okay. Let's go to the comments. I think they were very interesting. She broke again, and them scam guys didn't sell. So now she back to this. Wash, rinse, repeat for clicks and views. Shaking my head. Okay. Peach is practicing for what her daughter going to say one day about her gambling habit. Stop. She need that hard rock money to got to do something. Peach, please, I'm crying. Laughing my fucking ass off. I haven't talked to mine since last year of Christmas. She only comes around when the holidays are near. Mine put me out at the age of 16 for stepdad. I'm 30, and I haven't spoken to her since I was 19 after I had to check her about stealing granny life insurance money. So there's a lot of people that resonate with this because of their own pain and trauma. But what they don't understand is it's a whole nother level to this for Peach. See, like the young lady said, this is a young lady, can't really tell. But anyway, the comments are calling her out, even on YouTube. Somebody said, you can forgive a nothing ass man, but you can't forgive your own mama. We know the gig is up, Peach. The gig is up. We are hip to it. People are tired of it. And slowly but surely, the, your peach patch is waking up. So the only thing you can rely on is the new people that's scrolling by that don't know shit. And they will probably just watch your lives and, you know, for some reason be excited, motivated, and even follow you. Let's go to the next video. Okay, enough of that. Y'all get the point, right? And for those of you who do watch and have access and interested, you can just go on over to YouTube or TikTok. It's all there. But this is the desperation of a woman who fucked up yet again. And what else does she do best? But try to make content that will say, oh, not again. Go viral, hopefully. Because that's how she survives. She's like a bear in the woods. Surviving the best way she can. What else can you expect of her? And the people that agree with this, that don't see nothing wrong with it, just know, goddamn it, they sick as hell too. But I just feel like it's just so sad that people are just, I mean, close to her, her mom and everybody, they sitting by watching this like it's not their business. And God forbid something happened to one of them children. And then all of, if I could have, would have, should have, ain't going to mean a damn thing. Nothing at all. No, Peach would not dare hurt her children on purpose, I don't think. But from what I heard, the word on the street is that Wood said at some time point or another that she be mean as hell to them kids. She can get mad and go off. Who knows what can happen, child? Don't let them break up and have a bad fight and find out about a baby on the way or something. Mm. But I'm talking about the type of harm to her children because of the bad decisions that she has been making and continue to be making. And maybe many of you may not know, but she went live yesterday. Straight after leaving the casino, after saying she lost all her money, we thought she was trolling. We knew she lost, but you know how many times you can lose and you just troll because you think that's what people want you to do anyway. So she make a video out of it, you know, all the time. She knows she just lost a little bit, but she'll be back tomorrow. She good. No, that wasn't the case. She really lost all her money because she went live and said she needed to go and be up there all night long in order to make the money back. But guess what? I think she was laughing about two, two and a half hours. Guess how much she made? Guess. Put it in the comments. <laughs> Y'all so damn smart. Yes, yeah, she made $107. So you must have said $100.
Yeah. I mean, first you don't succeed, Peach. Try, try again. Go live again today. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it was the last minute. People wasn't really alert and aware and around. You know what I'm saying? How you go laugh and people miss it. I miss people lives all the time. Get on back up there today, girl. You might make 200 today. You never know. But if you don't, just remember, these are the broke ass holes that you talk about every day. So you shouldn't be surprised when they don't buy nothing. Because they broke, remember? That's your audience. That's your core audience. Peach McIntyre. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you go check out my shorts I did today. Make sure you check out the long form videos and subscribe, become a member. We're all family over here. Love you all. Talk to you later.